On a chilly Wednesday afternoon at Monmouth Stadium, the Hawks women's lacrosse team defeats Rutgers 12-10 to get head coach Eileen Gent her first win. But we first talked to one of the big reasons why Monmouth got this win, Kate Ryan. And Kate, let's talk about this performance. You're able to get a couple of goals in the first half, get the team kind of comfortable. You guys got out to a big lead and then Rutgers came back. In your performance today, how important was it to get some goals on the board early? Uh, I was really excited to play because uh, Rutgers is always one of the big uh, rival rivalries. And uh, just ready to play today. Throw some goals in there. <laughs> and your head coach, Eileen Gent, getting her first win against her alma mater. How important is it for you guys to come back home in the home opener and get her first win? Uh, so great to see Gent get her first win, especially against Rutgers. We appreciate it. Congratulations on this performance. Look forward to speaking with you later in the season. Thank you. That's Kate Ryan. And now as we speak with her head coach, Eileen Gent, after this 12-10 win over Rutgers. You know, Coach, where do we start? First win comes at home against the alma mater. Congratulations. What does this win mean to you? Thanks, Eddie. I mean, I think the first one is always one that you'll remember, but I think today was extra special. Um, always because it was against Rutgers, but always because of how the, our a team performed today. I think we performed top to bottom. Everybody who got in the game today did exactly what we expected and more. And our sideline was great. Everybody who didn't get a chance to play today also contributed. Yeah, Coach, I know you were a defender in your day. You, you have to appreciate after Rutgers came back in the game, it was your defense playing net by Carolyn Heelster as well. That really put this game out of reach. And just talk about their performance in the second half. When Rutgers was making their comeback, they got some key stops late. You know, I think having our offense overperform so much in the first half, it gave us a little bit of confidence going into the second half. But Rutgers is a good team, and they came back on us, and that wasn't a surprise. Our defense was able to nail it down in the second half and make key stops when we needed to, especially coming from Caroline back in the net. And you mentioned the offense. Kate and crew got really going in the first half. Olivia Higson did as well. And they got you that, that big lead that ultimately you, you hung on to. Really turned it on. We spoke about how big the offense was coming into this game after the game against Towson. Talk about their performance. I think it was really important for our attack to come out the way that they did today after a one-goal game at, at uh, Towson. I want to credit all of that to Coach Anderson. She's the one who made the changes that were necessary to play the way we did today. I, w I gave her some advice, but she's the one who back there making all the smart moves. Um, and I think our players really did exactly what she wanted of them, and it made all of us really proud. Well, Coach, speaking of proud, we're all proud again. Congratulations Thanks. to you. First win, back-to-back -back over Rutgers, two straight years. Congratulations on win number one. Thank you. Appreciate it. First-year head coach Eileen Gent gets win number one against the Scarlet Knights. Her alma mater, 12-10, here again on a very cold Wednesday at Mommet Stadium.